Uh, hello, everyone. I'm Sam Altman. I'm the CEO of OpenAI. Hey, everyone. I'm Greg Brockman, the co-founder and CTO of OpenAI. Uh, before this, I ran Y Combinator. And while I was there, I really came to understand the importance of mentorship and small amounts of funding and how much that can transform not only people's lives, but the things that they create in the world that we all live in. When we started OpenAI, I was a newcomer to the field. At first, it just felt actually inaccessible to me. But what I found to my surprise was with mentorship for my coworkers and space to study, it was actually possible to make contributions within only a few months. So OpenAI Scholars is a five month full-time program where we provide stipends and mentorship to individuals from underrepresented groups to study deep learning and to create open source projects. I helped start this program because I believe that diversity is core to AI having a positive effect on the world. It's necessary in order to achieve the open AI mission of ensuring that AGI benefits everyone. And, and to achieve that mission, I think diversity is core um, and it's critical to having this positive effect for everyone in the world. Uh, I think without that broad set of input and perspectives and backgrounds, um, it is unlikely that the advanced AI systems of the future will be built to benefit everyone. The scholars you're going to hear from are all strong software engineers. They come from a variety of fields, from neuroscience to physics to software engineering. The scholars are from the top 2% of applicants. Uh, it's, it's really amazing to see uh, you know, just how hard they've all worked throughout 2020, uh, throughout this, this, these very eventful times. When people applied to this program, and even when the program started, I think we had no idea uh, how different the world was going to become. Um, I think it's really amazing how hard our scholars have worked, how much they've been able to accomplish with this background. So uh, even during a global pandemic and long overdue conversations and protests about justice in, in the US, um, even in this incredibly volatile time in the world, uh, I and I think all of us uh, at OpenAI are especially impressed by the work that they did and the leap that they took to, to start this journey uh, into exploring this new field. I also want to say thank you uh, to the mentors. Uh, that they are really what enabled this program. Uh, that that mentorship, really giving people the benefit of your experience and helping them go through their own struggles. Uh, that's something that I think makes this makes makes it possible for people to come in and get productive so quickly. This program would not work without the efforts of these mentors. Uh, it just it would not be possible. Uh, there's a kind of learning, and this is one of them, that happens not from reading, not from hearing in classes, but from someone taking the time to dedicate um, to mentor you. Uh, and this one-on-one -on -one learning is much more like uh, a flight instructor sitting next to you than a teacher in a classroom. And so we wouldn't be able to do it without the energy and the brain power and the time of our mentors, and we, we really appreciate that. I think everyone at OpenAI has found it really rewarding to watch the scholars learn and grow. And we're all excited to see what they're going to accomplish next. Congrats to all the scholars. Thank you all for being here. Uh, thanks again to our mentors. Really awesome. Congratulations to the scholars. Thank you for, for presenting today. And I'm going to turn it back over to Francis.